Hi, welcome to Demo Garage. I'm Steven and I'm restoring a 1973 TVR 2500M. In today's episode, I'm going to be replacing this ugly thing. It's one step closer to a clean engine bay and uh, let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've got this uh, expansion overflow tank here that I think is a little worse for wear and I've been trying to shove this grommet back in and uh, it's probably functional. Um, not a fan. I, uh, I'm gonna be shooting some videos where I'm gonna try and clean up this engine compartment and try and make it look a little more racy, I guess. So, I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna replace this bottle with this guy. Just an inexpensive one, but uh, small little detail, uh, we'll see. Maybe uh, not so much now, but in the long run when I get everything in the engine compartment uh, the way I want, then maybe it'll look a little racier. So I'll bring you back. Okay, so I've got the uh, new mount installed and I was able to reuse um, the closer screw hole um, that was the bracket mount for the old expansion tank. And uh, I did line the edges, as you can see, with some uh, rubber that I had. And I think this is going to work out pretty well. So let me install the, uh, the ex new expansion tank and I'll bring you back. Okay, old expansion tank from the radiator pulled out and uh, I'm gonna definitely keep that with the spares. I don't know, maybe someone would want it for someday. And then I've got the new aftermarket expansion tank installed. And uh, yeah, went pretty much as planned. I was able to find kind of a universal mount and I put some rubber on it and uh, installed it in the same location. So, huh, not a huge improvement in the cleanliness of the engine compartment, but one step closer to my vision. So, thanks for watching, and um, I'm Steven with Demo Garage. Bye.